I got it. No, I'm, I'm actually making a space. All right, you guys, we are here at the Museum of Illusions. It opens on Friday, the grand debut and the grand opening. But be careful, Sumi. I want you to take your, your arms off and then Lord, fall. I can't hold on any longer. <laughs> we are here at a place that's got 60 different exhibits. Oh, look at that. And let me just tell you something. You've only shown us a couple so far, and this place is out of this world magnificent. Thank you. I'm really happy, happy to have you here. I got to talk about how this, how this all came about. How did you even come up with this idea? So we, uh, we opened our Dallas Museum in uh, December of 2019. We opened Austin in March of this year, and here we are in Houston. We're really excited to be here. And this is a spot that I can guarantee you is fun for everybody of all ages. There is going to be something. People are going to have questions and go, oh, my God, how, how did that happen, right? And is, that's the design. Absolutely. So there's plenty of things. You're, we're, we're, it's intentional for you to come here and have your mind boggled. We have plenty of staff that are here to help explain the art, the math, the science, the history behind our exhibits. And it doesn't have to just be a learning experience. It's absolutely fun for all ages. Absolutely. So we were walking through kind of a, a mini tour ahead of your grand opening, which is this Friday, September 1st, perfect for Labor Day weekend. But I just want to show our audience some of the things that they can see once they come inside. And these things completely messed up my very tiny brain, Subi. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'll share this with your viewers. Uh, you can tell me which line looks bigger here. Well, Obviously the one on the one. left, that right? That one looks bigger, so right? So let's see okay. and put this line up here and All match right. it up. They are Stop exactly the same it. size. What? Okay, this How? box How? clearly okay. looks bigger okay. than the one on the left. Yeah. But if you look at it, they are exactly the same size as well. Okay, but why does my brain do that? Why does it it's, brain it's an illusion. That that? That's what it is. But then I, I want you to show this all one like right, really tricky. This is out. my favorite one. Yeah, here. this one really messed so me up. So this line clearly, or this longer. shape is clearly longer than the other. Uh-huh. So but there. To our surprise, they're no. exactly okay, the same. Okay, I, I just, there's like no trick on it. Like it's not <laughs> like a, a it's disbelief. It's actually this, that is crazy. But some of the other stuff in here is also just as mind boggling. And I feel like it's also educational Absolutely. versus entertaining, right? Yeah, we call ourselves an edutainment venue, which is educational and entertaining all at the same time. So, so far, what has been your favorite piece that is in this My facility? favorite piece in our Houston Museum and all of our museums is our local artist collaborations. Yeah. Like we said earlier, we have a, a collaboration with Donkey Boy. Uh, we have a, our Following Eyes exhibit, which is a local touch to the local art That community. was Wonder Frida that you guys and just saw. And one that you haven't seen yet, and we're going to unveil on Friday, okay. which is our building illusion. It's a building facade that has a, a, a mural that's installed, that was installed by Donkey Boy, and we're so excited to share it. It has the second largest oh, yeah. mirror in the state of Texas. I got a sneak peek. Yep. It's going to be yep. awesome. Before, before we go, though, can we just like show one of my most favorite and most satisfying yeah, pieces so, right here? So, I'm sure our viewers, when they were younger, had a little board, you know, like with the sharp needles on one side. Yep. Okay, watch this. Watch so this. So this is a life-size version of pin art. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, let's see. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> I look like an alien, like a robot. Yep. That's so cool. I love it. High All right. Five. Well, uh, high five. Yeah, I'm on the wrong side. Well, you guys don't go anywhere because there's plenty more to see here at the Museum of Illusions in the Galleria. Great location. You hang with me for a little bit longer, okay? Absolutely. All right. Derek and Tessa, back to you guys. It's so cool, Lauren. I love it. It's awesome. It's awesome. You have me guessing and freaking out just a little bit, but Same. it looks so fun. <laughs> totally. High <laughs> what five. What supposed to do. Yes, yes. We want a pins and needle <laughs> high five. Well, still the comment. Welcome back to Houston Life. The Museum of Illusions is a one-of-a-kind immersive destination for all ages with 60 interactive mind-bending exhibits. And it's making its way, it's not making its way, it's making its Houston debut by opening its doors this Friday in the Galleria. Lauren Kelly is giving us a first look inside this afternoon. Lauren, all of those Laurens in the kaleidoscope. What are you doing over there? <laughs> That was too many Laurens. I will definitely agree to that, Tessa. But let me tell you something. You grab the kids, you grab the entire family, and come out here this weekend because they are making their debut on Friday. Museum of Illusions in the Galleria. Subi, thank you so much for giving our viewers basically the first look at Absolutely. the museum. Happy to have you. This is so much fun because as we kind of discovered before, it's not all about just lights and things like that. Your mind is physically bending to comprehend some of these illusions, huh? Absolutely. So we're in our dark area right now. 
plenty of exhibits to experience in here. What you're looking at right here is our dodecahedron. This is a view into a whole nother realm of an endless portal uh, that, that looks really, really cool. Yeah, I'm looking down and I, I just don't, I don't see the bottom anywhere. I don't see the top, I just see endless amounts of white light Absolutely. going through there. And, and we're behind us. And right behind us is our RGB wall. This is a wall with vinyl graphics that has different elements of color into it and with the reflection of different colors of light you see different shapes and sizes and objects. Houston is a space city, so we had to throw some planets in there. A lot of our other exhibits have some space and astronaut and spaceship themed uh, components to them as well, so we're happy to, to be here in Houston and, and highlight that. And what I love about this is that it really forces your mind to just be open, because a lot of people are like, I remember looking at those, those old photos where you'd have to sit there and cross your eyes for the image to kind of pop out. And this is really just kind of playing with your own mind and seeing perspective in a different way? Absolutely. There's plenty of exhibits here that will challenge your brain, things that your eyes will see, but your brain won't comprehend. Yeah. And that, that's what an illusion is. So some of your favorites, I know we mentioned, I showed you guys the, uh, the upside down space mission control, mm -hmm. essentially. And then a lot of the different things are, are interactive on the walls. You have tons of people here to help explain some of these exhibits as you walk through, right? Absolutely. So this experience can be completely self-guided, but we hired amazing staff that can explain everything to our guests, help take photos, uh, have the, this is an edutainment venue, so the educational part piece of edutainment is easily explained by our staff and they're really great and happy to help and ready to welcome our, your guests. What kind of hours are we talking? Because you're in the Galleria, but the hours are gonna be a little bit different from normal Galleria hours. So Mon Sunday through Thursday, we're open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Saturday and, sun sorry, Friday and Saturday, we're open from 10, uh, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, I'm gonna put a link up at HoustonLife.tv for all the information. but. This this is just going to be so fun. Do you have a personal favorite exhibit that you walk by every time and you're like, I, I just have to, I have to stop in and look at it? Yeah, absolutely. Our moving picture is one of my favorites. It's one of the simplest exhibits, but it's really one of my yeah, favorites. Yeah, we just both kind of walked in zigzags and my brain was definitely <laughs> playing a trick on me. But can we just show one more before we go? I, Lenny, our photographer, I just, I, I just want you to show just down here, it looks like an endless ladder tunnel into infinite darkness. And I know it's not, but... What if I just kind of, oh! <laughs> I'm not falling down, I'm not falling down. But you guys, this is such a great spot. Thank you so much again for giving us the preview. It's been so much fun and I can't wait for our viewers to come and check it out. Thank you, Lauren. Right. Right, Pleasure having luck. you. All right, Derek Tessa, you know we need a date day here. We have got to come in and check out the full thing once it opens this weekend. Oh, I am so down. I am so down, Lauren. This would be so fun. Oh my gosh, so trippy, so fun. And no, there, there are not enough Laurens in the kaleidoscope. Look how many live shots you could go on if we had that. We can't get enough Laurens. <laughs> we need that. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> After the break, a look at what's